Welcome back to Toyota Sports Talk. Washington Commanders training camp continuing here in Ashburn. Always great to talk to all the players throughout camp and joined today by wide receiver Curtis Samuel. Curtis, always great to chop it up with you. Absolutely. Uh, great to be here. Who is this, your third year in Washington? Yeah, third all year. All right. How's it feel? Year three. Uh, it feels amazing. Um, I've been <laughs> I've been in the league for a while now. What, seven? Is this yeah, a, yeah, going on seven. Time, time flies. Time flies. Do you, do you, I mean, you're a vet now. I'm, I'm going to say it. You're a vet. I mean, does yeah. it, does, is that cool with you? Like, do you like that kind of label? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, it, it just feels so different. I remember my first year in the right. league, you know, and people always say time fly, but I'm always grateful, you know, because, you know, a lot of guys don't last this long. So I'm always grateful to, you know, still be playing this game. And being that vet, you know, you see like a Jahan Dotson going in his second year and, you know, these younger guys, how do you try to help these guys learn life in the NFL? Um, I just I just tell them just stay in the books, you know what I'm saying? Just um, just enjoy the game, have fun. Um, just when you out there, enjoy yourself, and everything going to come natural to you. You ain't got to force nothing. Um, just go out there and be yourself. I remember last year, you know, there was injury concerns with you. Are you healthy? Are you not healthy? You had a great year. You know, you, you were back to the Curtis Samuel, and you look healthy this year. H how different of a mindset is that, knowing you don't have to worry about those soft tissue stuff and, and you're, you feel like you out there? Um, I mean, it's important. You know, as long as I'm out there, you know, I get in my rhythm. You know, I feel like I can't be stopped. You know, health is, is, is more important to me than anything. I learned from last year how to take care of my body and how to take care of myself, and I'm just trying to push that into this year. What did you learn? Like, did you have to make any changes toward diet, exercise? What did you do? Um, definitely diet. You know, um, I've always tried to, like, change my diet, but, like, I just, like, kind of just did a whole turnaround, you know what I'm saying? Just say, I, I got to do, it, do, it, do things this way. I got to take care of my body this way because it helped me last in this league. Did you have to cut out like sweets and ice cream? Cause that would that'd, like kill me. Oh, uh, the thing is I'm happy that I'm not a big sweet guy no All more. Right. Like, it, things be too sweet for me. And I'm talking like I'm old, but I'm still young. <laughs> <laughs> so are you still able to do, do some like five guy French fries? Like are you still able to oh, like- yeah, the, the thing is I can eat whatever I want. Okay. I don't really gain weight like that. Yeah, yeah. And, I knocked the weight off fast, yeah. but I just starting to feel a difference now when I eat that type of stuff. When I go out there and run, it's a little different. Yeah. So obviously it's, it's a new year this year and uh, exciting for this offense because you have Eric Bieniemy now as the OC. What's that been like learning from uh, Eric and learning that playbook? Um, it's exciting. You know, it's tough, but I mean, um, the fact that it's tough, that means we're going to do so many different things and um, I'm excited for it. You know, my job is to stay in the books and to make sure, I'm, I, make sure I know what I'm doing when I'm out there. Let me ask you this. What makes it tough? What makes this scheme, this playbook difficult? Um, just, just knowing that you're gonna be in so many different spots. Um, I feel like, you know, as a player, you wanna, you wanna do different things and it's on us, you know, to study the playbook, not when we just in the facility, but when we're outside the facility. I've always viewed you as like a Swiss Army Knife type guy, right? Yeah. You know, I see that as an Antonio Gibson as well. Uh, explain that a little bit, how that's your strength of, you can line yourself up all over the field and you can catch the ball, you can run the ball, uh, that makes, you that's what makes you I think is special yeah um I mean I'm, I'm I'm grateful that I I've been able to play so many different positions you know just growing up um and I'm able to do so many things with the ball on my hand and I, I sometimes it's a good and a bad thing you know as long as you know you have somebody that know how to uh, move you around and do a lot of different things with you um I feel like it makes all it makes you look better and it makes the offense look better um I'm good with the ball on my hand you know and I pride myself on making guys miss and you know just uh, making things happen when I'm out there on the field. Another new quarterback. Is, is, that, is that frustrating as, as a receiver not to have that consistency at the position? Um, so, I mean, that's just things I can't control. Yeah, you know, um, that's good fair. All I can do is just try to uh, be, be the best receiver I could possibly be, possibly be when I'm out there um, and make the game easy for the quarterback. Um, as long as I'm out there, we're going to get that chemistry and we're going to get, uh, get things going. How do you try to make the game easy for the quarterback? <clears throat> um, you know, just being where I got to be in the right spots, being on time, you know, not a lot of ways to move is get in and out of my routes. Um, and just because if I do that, I gain trust in him. And he's going to want to give me the ball. Tell me about Sam Howell. Tell me about the command in the huddle. What is he like at the line of scrimmage? Uh, his ball. How are you guys getting on that same rapport? Uh, Sam is great. You know, I feel like he do a great job of commanding the team. You know, the, the, the best thing is we trust him, you know, and he's trusting himself. And um, I feel like that's why he's able to go out there, you know, play well, play really good. And, you know, we don't mind following him because we understand the work that he put in and how hard he works. You said you trust him. How did he gain your trust? Um, just by coming, coming in each and every day, you know, performing at a high level. You know, everybody going to make mistakes, but who, who doesn't, you know? The thing is, each and every day he comes back out and he puts in the work, you know? So when you see a guy doing that, 
you got you got to you got to gain trust in them. So it's been hard for me to try to figure out where you are in the field because I'm used to number ten. Right. Uh, you, you switched it up to four. Yeah, yeah. Why? Um, I've been I've been wearing number four my whole life. Um, you wore that in, in in New York City, right? In your high school days. Yeah, I wore it in low league. Uh, growing up, I wore it in college. And I wanted to wear it when I first got drafted, but the rule the rule ain't changed yet. So um, I just wanted to just go back to my old go number. Go back to your roots. Yeah, feel like myself again. Was that uh, what's the family think about that? It must be kind of cool for them because uh, you, your family obviously saw you as yeah. number four their whole life, and now you're back. Yeah. I mean, they, they they definitely was excited. You know, yeah. I feel like I look better in the number four. I love the number ten too. I still got the chain, you know. But um, four is just you know where I always been. This is your third year in Washington, as as I said. How nice is it to see kind of the resurgence from the fan base? Obviously, it's a new vibe, the new owner, but it's been, from our perspective, it's been great to see this kind of the energy. How about from the players? Um, it's definitely exciting. You know, um, we go out here each and every day and try to work and, and, and work hard. You know, and the fact that we got our fans out here cheering us on, you know, being behind us. You know, that, it just feels good. You know, we just look forward to, you know, when it comes time during the season, preseason, that the fans out there cheering, you know what I'm saying, just hyping us up, and then we're going to get the ball rolling. I know as a player you like to put those blinders on, right, to, yeah. from, from what's going on, on the outside, but having this new owner, uh, what kind of a difference does that make for you, the players? Does it motivate you at all? Does it make you want to maybe prove something because he's watching you guys? I mean, honestly, I really don't really pay too much attention to that. But I mean, with a switch, you know, um, things is gonna change and things are gonna start heading in the right direction. I mean, my job is to just go out there and perform, you know, try to not bring any distractions to the team, and, you know, let upstairs handle upstairs. Uh, Antonio Gibson, you know, last week was talking about the potential of this team, how he's really excited. And we explained, you know, potential is just a word, but how do you see this team just have a, uh, a broad view? I mean, could this team be special? Do you see like the pieces in place to be a good team? Absolutely. Um, I feel like we, we've always had a lot of great pieces, and the good thing is a lot of our guys are young, you know, and, you know, that's a good thing. We've got a lot of young guys, you know, we're, we're flying around the field. We, we feel good playing with each other, and, um, you know, our job is to go out there and just play uh, together, you know, 11 guys playing as one and then not, you know, hurting ourselves, and I feel like we could go a long way. I think everybody in this region sees the potential of this team this yeah. year. But I don't know if that's necessarily the case from a national perspective, people in the NFL. Do you think you're getting slept on a little bit, this, this uh, team here? Um, I'm not sure. I don't really pay attention to you know, outside and everything else that's going on. I mean, if, if nobody knows who we are, I mean, that's fine. You know, it's cool. But at the end of the day, we still got to go out there and perform. And, you know, as long as you're doing what you got to do on the field, everything else is going to take care of itself. I wanted to ask you about kind of your community outreach and I know it's big to you and you went back home this summer and put on a football camp and yeah. uh, you know you and I were talking off camera not a lot of people make it to the NFL from yeah. where you're from and to give back like that you know how rewarding and how special is that for you Curtis? Uh, special you know just because I get to go back home you know with a lot of kids that's from similar backgrounds as, as I'm from and I mean, I, I, I didn't have too many people to look up to, you know, especially from where I'm from, you know, that played in the NFL. So for me to be able to do that, give kids some hope that it's possible, you know, a lot of things, uh, the, the big thing is I, I just want them, I just want the kids to really understand that I'm from where they're from. I've been through the same thing. I had the same distractions and I was able to make it out, you know, so I just try to go back and, you know, give them some positive hope talk to them a little bit, have a lot of guys from, that I play with and do the same. When you have these camps, do you almost like visualize yourself in their shoes? Because that, that was you and I mean, you were dreaming and you got to be just so proud of yourself that where you are today. Absolutely. I understand that, you know, um, even though, you know, you don't want to be, a lot of guys don't want to be, you know, you are a role model and you got to lead by example. And, you know, I try to go out there and be myself. I don't try to be nobody else different. I try to be myself. So my camps is a little different. You know, we play football, but we also have fun. I got music playing. I'm dancing with the kids. You know, it's New York style. You know, I got to oh, be who I am and not change yeah. up for nothing. Um, you know, year seven, what is your goal this year? I mean, I, obviously, team-wise, you want to win. You want to do well. But individually, probably stay healthy. Is there, like, certain numbers you think of, like yards, catches? Like, what is a successful season for Curtis Samuel? Um, I don't focus too much on yards. Um, just be explosive. You know, be out there with your guys. Um, make an impact each and every game. Every time you touch the ball, um, be be elusive. You know, um, show them why you why they brought you here. 
you know, um, and you know, just keep just keep doing what I've always what I've always done: make plays, score touchdowns, and dance and have fun. In your trio, McLaurin, Dotson, yourself, how do you guys complement each other? How do you make each other better? Um, we all got a lot of different skill sets, you know, but we all got some of the same skill sets. And I feel like that's what helps help us out so much to where we can move around. But, you know, to extend that, you know, it's not just us. We, we got a deep room, you know what I'm saying? We got a lot of guys that's going to, you know, be a part of our offense this year besides just the guys that you name. And, you know, we're excited because everybody in our room that step on the field will make an impact. For the fans, how will they know when the offense is clicking? What, what will we see? When you see us scoring touchdowns. You see a lot of points up on that board, don't be surprised. Smiling and dancing, right? Absolutely. Oh, we're going to be dancing. Brother, appreciate it, man. Thank Always. you. Always. All right, much more to come right here on Toyota Sports Talk. Stay with us.